Hi, my name is Amy Heisey, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draw St. Damien of Molokai. His feast day is on May 10th, and I'm going to be showing you how to draw him using simple lines and simple shapes. For this tutorial, you need a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to draw an oval for his head shape. So this oval, we want to make sure that we are kind of squaring it off a little bit for the top of his hat, as well as for the squared off corners of his beard. So I'm going to be working on that squared off oval shape, starting with the top of his head, drawing some lines that are coming down and connecting them at the bottom. And you, of course, can make any changes that you want to to yours. The point is that we are drawing, we're having fun and practicing, and we are connecting to God through our creativity. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to be doing the shoulders and this part of his little cloak. So kind of close to where the bottom of the beard is, you're going to draw a curved line coming down over on the left side like so, and a line curving down over on the right side. The top center, underneath where his beard is, I'm gonna put a little mark, and we are going to be putting in these sides. So it opens up kind of like the top points of a triangle. So I'm going to do a similar kind of curve as the shoulders going off towards the left. And I'm going to do a similar line going off towards the right, creating this triangle opening right there. I want to connect these um, pieces down at the bottom with a line. And now that I have that done, I can start to work on his arm. So one of his arms is bandaged up in the sling. So we're going to be doing a curved line, um, kind of squared off, and it's going to be for this elbow, and it's going to come up and connect towards this part of his um, cloak. So I'm going to do a curve coming down like this. And then I'm going to kind of bend that line up towards the opening of his cloak. And I'm going to have it come up and stop a little bit about halfway on this right edge. So that is the main shape of his arm and the sling. So to finish up the sling, we're going to be doing a U curve for this opening. So about halfway down this left side piece, I'm going to draw the letter U and that is going to create the opening of the sling that his arm is in. We can see a little bit of his hand and fingers peeking out from inside of the sling. So I'm going to start off by drawing a rectangle shape, kind of like this. And that rectangle is creating the main shape of his hand and fingers. But if we leave it like that, that's gonna look kind of funny. So we actually want to separate that shape into separate fingers. So I'm going to add these slightly curved lines and that's going to break apart that shape. And you just wanna make sure that you have one, two, three, four, five fingers poking out. So this top one is like his thumb. And these ones are the bigger fingers peeking out from underneath. And the last thing we're going to do in that area is I'm going to add a line here. And that's just creating an extra fold in the fabric. Next, we're going to be putting in this arm that is holding the cane. So over here on the right side of our drawing, you're going to do a curve that kind of comes in 
and then it's going to start to go straight across and this is creating the sleeve of his clothing and um, I want to add a curved line that connects it to his his sling. I'm going to draw a line here and that's going to create the top part of his sleeve. This is just going to be kind of like empty space in between. We have this hand that is um, holding onto this cane. So we're going to start kind of here on the sleeve and you're going to go straight across to create the palm of the hand. And then you're going to draw a line that comes down. So it almost looks like a letter L, but turned sideways. This part is going to be one of his fingers. So I'm going to curve my pencil up to create a curve. And that is one finger. I'm going to add another curved line for finger number two and three. And if you can fit a fourth one in, go ahead. But no worries if that sling that his arm is in cover covers it. To finish off this cane, I'm going to do a U here, kind of the middle of the sling next to his fingers. So that is creating this part of the cane. And then we're going to do a line that comes down. And mine ends up being about the middle of my paper. Yours might be in a different spot and that is okay. I'm going to do a parallel line so coming down the same direction, and I'm just creating the thickness of the cane like so. And um, we're gonna be adding in these lines right here. So underneath the arms, you're going to add one line coming off towards the left, but you wanna stop before you reach where the bottom of your cane is. And I'm gonna do one over here on this right side coming down as well. To make it look like the fabric is flowing, I'm gonna add a wavy line. So I'm going to move my pencil up and down like a wave. I'm stopping at the cane continuing it on the opposite side and continuing that wave until he reached the edge of his clothing. He has pants on and shoes. So to create the pant legs, we're gonna put one on each side of this cane that he's holding. So I'm going to add one line here and one line there that creates one pant leg. We'll do the same thing on this right side. We'll do one line here, one line a little further away. So that creates the width of his pant leg and when you connect them together at the bottom with a slightly curved line, kind of like a smile, that creates the bottom of the pants. For his feet, we're going to be putting in um, these simple shoes the overall shape kind of reminds me of the letter U. It's just tilted at an angle. So this one over on the left side, I am curving out at an angle towards the left. So it's like a long letter U that got stretched out at a diagonal. And I want to do the same thing on this right side. I want to do kind of a U shape, but angled more towards the right. So it's like the letter U got stretched out towards the right. We're going to be putting in the hat next. So um, right about here, I want to do a line that comes straight across the head. And that creates the bottom of the brim of his hat. And his hat is kind of curved up. So it really reminds me of like a smile. So I'm going to extend the hat up towards the right and up towards the left that is creating this brim. We want to add a parallel line on top of it and we want it to match the same curves of the hat. That way it looks like the hat brim is flipped up just a little bit. And we have this band that goes across the hat. So I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way across like so. I think I'm going to make the top of my hat a little taller than how I originally had it. And you can make any adjustments that you need to as well. 
there's kind of these straps here that are um, that the band is kind of sliding behind. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw two lines next to each other. Think the number 11. And I'm erasing part of that little band that's behind. And I'm going to do another one here. I'm doing two straight up and down lines, kind of creating the number 11. And I'm going to erase that little part right there. And the last thing that we're going to do with the hat is from that little band, you're going to draw a diagonal line towards the left and a diagonal line towards the right. And those are these little strings that are kind of holding his hat up. For his ears, he has um, different sized and shaped ears because of the leprosy that he contracted. For his ears, we have different sizes of ears because he had leprosy. So in some of his pictures, you can see the way that his body kind of changed shape. So we have a bigger one over here on this left side. So I'm going to do a big curve like this. And then I'm going to have it come back in towards the head like so. And for this one, I'm going to do kind of a smaller curve. Think like the letter D. On the inside of this big ear, I'm going to do a little squiggle line. Think like a question mark. And that creates um, a hint of the inside of his ear. For his face underneath the hat brim, I want to do um, I'm just going to do a simple face. I'm going to do two circles for the eyes, making sure that I'm leaving space in between them. And um, he wore glasses, so I'm going to do some ovals around those circles to create the edges of his glasses. I want to connect his glasses with a line in the middle. And for the parts that hook over his ear, I'm going to do one line that goes up this way and one line that goes up that way. I'm going to do a little bit of like a eyelid by adding just like a little downwards turned line above the eyes. And I'm going to add some eyebrows. So I'm putting in thicker eyebrows. That way I can color them in with my markers later. It's kind of like a rectangle shape. So I do a line on each side for the edges of the eyebrow and then I kind of connect them together up at the top if that hat brim isn't already covering it. In between where his eyes and where the bottom of his beard is, that's where I'm going to put his nose. So I'm just doing a simple nose, a curve, kind of like a smile. And um, we're going to finish off with his beard and mustache. So the shape of his mustache reminds me of a trapezoid. So the edges kind of come out this way and it's flat at the bottom. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line going off towards the left, a diagonal line going off towards the right, and I'm going to connect them at the bottom like a trapezoid, and that is creating the mustache shape. Underneath, I'm going to do two lines that come down. They're just slightly in between um, the edges of that trapezoid mustache shape and I'm going to connect them and this is creating a little bit of skin and lip that is showing from behind. And um, last but not least, I'm going to add these curves for the edges of his beard. So it's going to start kind of near where his ear is and it's going to connect to where the bottom of the mustache is. And once you finish getting your St. Damien drawn out the way that you like, we can start to color it. And you can use your favorite art supplies to color it. I am going to be using markers because that's what shows up well on camera. You, of course, can use anything that you like. And when I use markers, 
I love to outline my drawing with black pens, kind of like this, but you can use whatever you want for your drawing. I would love to see how your drawings turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media. And if you'd like to support the channel, one way you can do so is through my Buy Me A Coffee page and wish list. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much and he loves your artwork very much. Thank you so much for following along with today's tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.